Right. All right, so this is a homemade video to show you the uh, Huggy Foot D200 Nikon housing set up, that underwater housing setup I have for sale, uh, how it works and operates, what's coming with it, and to show you that it works. Uh, this is a home video. My husband's taping it, so you'll have to excuse any, mista any mistakes or problems. First thing I'm going to show you before we actually start taking it apart, and what I thought is I take it all apart so you can see how it comes apart with the uh, 60 millimeter lens and then put it all together using the wide angle lens and the dome housing. Uh, it has two Icolite, uh, two Icolite lights. If you look here, you'll see that the you know, lights both come with um, cover caps on them. I'll put them in test mode and you can see that the three lights, these were charged last night. It comes with two chargers for it. Um, in test mode, you can see the lights are both on. Here in test mode, I'll actually take a quick picture of it, up with it, in the on position. So you can see that the lights flash. I'm going to point down so that I don't blind the camera. And I'm going to turn the huggy foot on. I'm just going to point it right to you at the camera. And you should have seen both lights go off. All right. So what I want to do here first is, because this is heavy, we're not in the water, this thing is slightly negatively buoyant, not that, not that bad, uh, uh, nice weight actually in the water. Um, I'm going to actually take the lights off so it doesn't fall on us. So I'm going to turn these off, take the lights off, and this comes with, what I don't have laying on the table here is the chargers for the camera and the lights, but I do have two chargers for camera and light, and you'll see those in the regular pictures. But it comes with a couple sets of arms, a couple of extra, uh, one extra arm. Uh, when I use the wide angle, I like to use the one larger arm. Uh, when I'm doing the 60 miller, I use the two smaller. There's actually a knob on the top of the camera mounting to hold a focus light as well, if you're doing night, uh, shooting at all. Focus light's always really night at light, at light, nice at night. So we'll take both of these off here. I think I've got them both turned off, off and off. All right. So they're off here and you see the handles come off pretty easily here. I'm not going to put the handles back on for right now. As you can see that the camera actually works with the icon lights. We're going to actually unscrew this it's really important when this goes in and you screw it in this only goes in one way the housing in there there's a little knot in there this only goes in one way so it's really important when you get this when you go put this together that when you push this in you actually line the notch up make sure the holes are in nice and tight and then screw it down in if you don't get that nice and snug in there and then screw it in you actually, the flash won't work. So, we could actually go diving with it like this, in, in nice, and I do, do actually dive in nice, um, clear water if I'm doing shallow dives without the lights. It's actually quite nice. I want to show you something before I take it apart here. Can you see the green flashing light in the front here? Can you see the green flashing light in here? All right, so the green flashing light Stick. is telling me that this is Stick sealed. The camera down there. Yeah, Can you see the green? Yeah, All right, so the yeah. green flashing light showing. That's showing you that we have a good vacuum seal here. That's the new uh, Huggy Foot uh, Huggy Leak Alarm. If it's green, it's okay. And what they have you do is they have you seal this and wait 30 minutes. If it's still green after 30 minutes and then throughout your dive, you're safe. If it turns red, you're not safe. So this is green. We're okay, and we'll show you how that works. All right, so this is the two. This is the housing. We're, we're not going to be, a couple things to talk to you about the housing. The handles will come off. You can actually put, you're really doing a lot of shallow diving. And you want to actually have the lightest of weight. You can actually put this right here. This is Velcroed. And this fits right in the holes here. And you can actually just dive one-handed with this. And in the water, it's not heavy at all. So it's very easy to dive one-handed if you're doing shallow diving and you don't want the handles. All right, 
to open this up, uh, the other thing I want to talk about here, and you can't see this from here, the nicest thing about this camera is it's got this 45 degree angle. So to focus with this, to look, I only have to look here to take a picture. I don't have to put my eye up to the camera. I can just look down through here and I can see already. I don't even have to have my head straight up on it. And I can see through in order to take a picture. And then what you see, just to show you more on the camera here while we have it on this one, uh, I'm going to turn the camera on here, all right, and you'll see that you get all the settings like you do on the Nikon. So if you're looking for your menu setting, you can see the menu shows up. You can pick the different pieces here. The up and down goes here, left and right. All right. You can do the easy picture review. That's the thing I just took now with the flash. If I want to put that in the trash can, delete it. There you go. So there's another one I took. Delete it. Yep. All right. That's one I took the flash. Delete it. Yes. Yeah. So, so you can see that the all the functions work underwater through the buttons that are on here. All right. So I'm turning it back off here. And when you turn it on, and this probably won't show good in the thing here. You see all your settings inside the window there where the green light is, and which may not show up good in here. Good. You take the picture with the button here. All right, so we are never going to open this up without letting out the pressure. And you let out the pressure through, this is where the leak system is. So I'm going to let out the pressure through here. All right, it's the only way, oh, I'm sorry, not through here. That's actually put another, you can actually do a dual flash here. Um, so if you didn't want, like I like this scissor connection, two into one, but you can actually do two separate lights through here. That's the second light. My apologies. So it's here. You have to take the bottom piece off. That releases it. You probably actually heard the air coming out. All right. And... You'll know that it's released because now, if you look, we've got red flashing. Can you see that red? Good. All right. So we have red flashing. So we'll quickly show you how to take this apart because then putting it back together is almost exactly the same thing. I'm going to take and first thing I always take off is the lens. All right. If you look, there's a notch. One other thing in the notch here, and this is a good seal because of an O-ring, and then and there's a little bubble down here. So we're going to push and turn, and I have small hands. But notice I lined the notch up. Now once you line the notch up, it just kind of wiggles out. All right, that's the housing. Comes with a nice protective cover for it. Now, they'll tell you that you can actually change lenses while you're in here. You can. You can reach in here. I could change the lens and actually put the other housing on. I wonder if I should do that, show you how that works. Now, I think I'll, I'll take it apart to show you. I, it's easy to change the lens with the 60 millimeter, but I have a um, focus ring for the uh, wide angle, and it, it's tight for the hands. Uh, I have no focus ring for the 60. I will tell you what I do have is an extension to this piece. And with this extension, I can put a 135 millimeter lens in. I, don't, I do not own a 135 millimeter lens, but I do have the extension for one. And the uh, focus ring for a, uh, a different kind of lens than this lens. All right, so once that's off, we're now going to take it, I like to lean this across uh, on like an edge of a table. You use these, this Allen key, and you're just going to unscrew two. This is the simplest thing you ever saw. These don't come out of here, so there's no fear of them falling out. And again, if you hadn't taken the pressure out of there, you'd never be able to either take the top off or unscrew this. And that just comes off very simply like that. This is in here. This is the 
thing for the um, both the flash as well as the huggy foot leak protector. I'll take that off here, out of the way. That actually goes into the hot shoe. That's where that went, was in the hot shoe. Go on, screw here. And I forgot to turn the camera off, but it's all right now. But. Too much pressure on the lens cap there. Okay, so the camera's out. It's that simple. All right, I'll put this in the off position. This should stay in the off position. There's a battery right here. It's a uh, 3.6 volt half AA battery. That's what operates the leak uh, detector. Uh, so take that out. Here we are, in our, and this is a typical Nikon D200. This is a Nikon lens. This comes with, the, the camera comes with a 60 millimeter, or the kit's going to come with a 60 millimeter Nikon lens. Oh, wrong cover. So, no, I say this is the wrong cover. Somewhere is the cover. But, what I do have also, maybe I don't have a cover for that. I'll look. I may have the cover for that. Um, what comes also with this, although this one will dock on the underwater housing, is a very, very nice 18 to 200 millimeter lens. But you can see why it won't come go in the underwater housing. <coughs> so, and that's got a case with it, actually. And the cover maybe no, the cover but it's not in there. Okay, anyway. All right. The, I have a really nice 10 to 18 10 to 17 millimeter wide angle lens. It's a, a Tonkin and if you know anything about uh, underwater, this is a really nice lens for underwater photography. So I'm gonna put that on the camera, make sure it works. Just to double check myself, it does. Turn that back off. All right, so now I'm gonna sit down for the rest, this part of it to show you how this goes back together to show you how easy this is to do. So you take your camera, make sure this is in the off position. Make sure your off button's in the off position. Everything's else pretty well fairly lined up. I always keep all of the buttons straight up and down here and you'll see why. You're gonna take the camera, you're gonna <laughs> place it into the housing. You're gonna Make sure everything's lined up with the holes, and just screw this in. And let's see if you don't have too much pressure. Oh, and I missed the. Nice in the hole. Yeah. It's not missing like it's tiny. There it is. Oh, I, I, I mean, everybody screws in a screw a different way. I like to have it loose so it finds its own way and I know I'm not cross, crossing the threads. Before I put the back on, I make sure for sure that the on and off button works because there are little two little notches in there that actually catch the on and off. So I always make sure I can turn it on and off and see the camera go on and off. Okay, and it also does do the, the light function, the backlight function. All right, but always make sure I can turn it on, on and off. I turn that off. That's on. The back, again, because this is a really nice, easy D-ring, the back one here is really easy. Uh, before I do that, I'm putting the, um, the hot shoe in here, and the hot shoe is what actually gives us the... Um, flash and also lets us know that the leak detector is working. So that just slides in. It's easy. It only goes in one way. So it slides right in there. All right. Now notice it's just a nice red O-ring. It's a dry. You don't grease this one. You use grease to lightly clean it, but you don't grease it. Uh, there are some replacement O-rings with this. 
uh, in 2012, if, if any of you know about the Huggy Foot D200 housing, it did not come with the Huggy Leak. It was an older housing. It didn't have that. And actually, one of the complaints people had about these is you didn't know when they were loose and leaking. So I sent this away to have it serviced in 2012, have all the seals replaced, um, everything cleaned and maintained, and had the leak proof, the newest leak proof housing put in, the, or the leak alarm put in. All right. So this is easy. I mean, you, this is really a no-brainer. It's probably the easiest camera to open and close there is. Put the back on, and then you just use these Allen wrenches again. I, I take it down to I just about catch. Then do the other side and then tighten them both. You don't tighten them too tight to strip them. Okay. All right. Then I always make sure that everything works. I can turn it on and off because you want to make sure it operates fully before you take it underwater. So I make sure my menu works and I get everything back there. Life is good. So I'm good. So everything's fine. We know we're working. So we, we know we're fine. All right, so turn that off. Now the back is on, and again, I only tighten it hand tightened. Now I'm gonna put the dome housing on. Now the dome housing doesn't have um, a line to line up to this dot like this one does. But what's on here is in black, and you probably aren't gonna be able to see this here, is a little arrow in this side. And it's right there, and you probably can't see that. But there is one, because there's not one on the other side. And that's the arrow you're lining up with this line. And then you take this, make sure it's pushed down first. You have to push it down nice and tight so it's snug and turn it. That's it. That's all there is to it. All right? So that's all there is to the wide angle lens. And I'm going to turn it on. And again, because I can look through this. Now with a lot of light, that's going to be a crappy picture, but it's a nice wide angle picture. Can you see it there? There we go. So it took a nice picture there without the flash. Okay, good. All right, so that's the camera in here. I'll turn it off. I don't need it on. Now, remember I told you about the huggy foot thing for the leak? So here it is. They say you do this a half an hour, and I've left the instructions with it. We take the red top off. If you remember, when we let the air out, we took this all off. Take the red top off. Screw this in. It doesn't really screw in. You actually just push it in. Push it in, hold. This takes a little while. A couple of minutes. Is that drawing the air out? This is sucking the air out. And you'll see it go from red to green. Sounds like an airplane motor. So again, while this is working, I'll tell you that this comes with this whole kit's coming with the whole D200 housing, the dome lens, as well as the 60 millimeter lens and the extension to make it 135. The camera itself is coming with three lenses, the 10 to 17 Tonkina, the 60 millimeter Nikon, and the 18 to 200 Nikon. The 18 to 200 doesn't go underwater. Ah, I'll tell you what I forgot to put on here was the, um, the uh, focus ring. Uh, I should have done that. So, um, since we already started this, I won't do that. I'll just explain where that goes. Uh, now, notice it's gone green. All right. So, once it's gone green, that's that's a seal tight. So, you can taste this off. You don't have to, like, it's not like a balloon where you have to rush and close it or anything. So, and what Huggy Foot says is leave this sit. Do this about a half an hour at least, a half an hour before you dive, and leave it sit. If it's still green, you know you have no leaks. All right. And then we would hook the lights back up like you saw. What I forgot to do was put this on the lens. And what you do is you put this on the lens before you put the lens on the camera. So it goes in from the back like, like that. But it goes to the, this is, notice it's too loose for this lens. So, it, but it goes on to the 10 to 17. You don't put it on like this. 
You put it on like this, and then you put your lens on. And then when you have this on, this button here is what gives you the 10 to 17. And the only thing I would suggest is when you do this, don't over, when you're turning it one way or the other, as soon as you feel it, it give or it tighten or it resist, stop. If you continue to turn it, you'll pop the, it's got threads that go into these threads and you'll pop those out and then you'll be stuck at whatever you have. But if you just, it just easily turns, it, you know, it's a cogwheel that goes into this cogwheel. It turns like this and that's how you get from 10 to, if you forget it, which I've done on dives before you, you have whatever wide angle you started with. So whether that's 10 or 15 or 17 or somewhere in between. But that's it. That's, that's all there is to it. Um, you saw the lights go on, so you know how they work. Um, there are, uh, the things I didn't send, set for you here is, that's with the diagram, is there's an extra, here's the two chargers. So I have two independent chargers for the Icolite lights. You don't have to charge one and then charge the other. I have two independent chargers for the Icolite lights. I have the charger for the, uh, so th these are the two underwater light chargers. Then this is the, I have an extra Nikon battery with, it, with a charger. So you can have one on charge while you're diving with one for the Nikon camera. There's a 4 gig memory card in there, and a 2 gig is coming with it as well, so you can switch out cards. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you um, are interested in this. Got a cover for the camera. Here's the bra for the... You can, and the nice thing about this bra is it's neoprene, so you can actually... I take it underwater with me and go diving. And then I take this off and put it in a BCD pocket so that I don't nick this dome. Um, though the domes are pretty sturdy. I mean, you know, I, I, I used this hard when I was using it for the five years I used it. So, so the domes are pretty sturdy, but, um, and as is the other one. Uh, plus you have these guards here. So that's that. I will tell you some uh, tricks of the trade. How do you take this underwater? Um, I use bungee cord. I wrap a bungee cord, like a little rubber bungee cord, get it from my dive shop. And I have brass um, hooks, uh, D-ring type hooks. Well, not D-ring type, but just clasp on hooks. And I hook them to my BCD, and then that way I can dive with this, have my hands free, and this still floats in the water. Real easy. I should have actually brought one of the ones we use and show you. These come off very simply. Again, did you notice I just loosen it down. Got the case with it, Terry. No, there's no case. The big carry case, isn't there? No, there's no case with this. Wait, um, the we have a Pelican case. We're not um, selling the Pelican case with this, so it'll come boxed. There's no no case, no case comes with it. You're using that case. I'm using it for me. If you're. Yes, my yeah. husband's using a case for his underwater video camera, which is where we've gone. All right. <laughs> so the handles come off there, and again, like I said, you can put this handle right on and just go one-handed even. Um, cover for here. If you're not using the flash at all. And that's it. And again, it is it is very uh is there an instruction very manual in. coming with it? There's no instruction the instruction manual I'll have attached as a link, it's downloaded from the Huggy Foot site. So the instruction manual for that comes as a as an attachment. Um, there is the instruction manual for how to use the uh, leak indicator. There's strobe icolite strobe light, the DS125 instruction manual. I have extra O-rings for the camera, O-rings for the Icolite lights, some silicone grease. This is the front cover to um, the Huggy Foot housing when you're just going to uh, travel with it uh, closed. Um, so it's just like a dust cap cover so you don't have to have this 
to get all together so it makes it easy to pack it's it comes in pieces the, the biggest thing to pack actually is the dome it's the widest um, some arms the hooks like I said there's an extra holder here to put a uh, focus light for night uh, two arms usually when I'm doing wide angle I do one arm and then I one arm out and then I do an extension of double like this in order to get where I need to focus with the wide angle get it up above or, where, or off to the side depending on what I need light but you know uh, not leave it to me to tell divers how to actually take pictures um, strap for the camera when you're not using the camera underwater it just it very easily clips right onto the camera and um, that's about it that's the whole thing so uh, these are just for the covers for the light again I've everything to keep things nice and dry and away from water So these just fit in here, like so. nice caps for for these just to kind of keep the ends dry you can actually take and screw them one to each other this is not one of the ones that goes this is this this one that's what this one is and then I got a cap for the end here so again you don't so that kind of keeps the moisture away and there's some extras of those so hope you enjoyed this an extra allen key you can see this one tends to go with me a lot it's a little bit rusty <coughs> new one and that's it thank you very much